So I spent some time looking at possible next targets to declare war upon, and I think it is finally time to take Lorulu back from Mia. This, uh, yeah, they have taken away this province from us uh, quite some years ago, and we failed twice. So far, we failed twice to take it back, uh, mostly because the wars ended inconclusively, but now I think it's time. They have no money, uh, they're really in debt, and they only have 4,000 men. And so I think we'll declare this war, and we'll go for the de jure claim on Lorulu. Now, this would... Um, we would gain the city of Lorulu. Okay, that's fine. If we do this, he would gain the city. That's fine. We'll, we'll go for that because I want that back under my control. And the good thing is that I can actually raise just my vassal forces so I don't have to pay for these troops. My vassals will be a bit pissed off, but that's not really a big problem. We can just raise all of these men and that should be enough to destroy um, to destroy the Mirish armies. Because he has like, yeah, he has 6,000 men, but that's not enough. And uh, as I said, he does not have any money to hire more troops and that's cool that's really cool because um, we can continue to make some money and um, awesome now Bravos is also raising men they are okay they are just declaring a war on emancipation well that's fine and um, this is really cool that Bravos is fighting together with us against slavery this is really cool they've already taken out Pentos we've taken out Kohor and I guess we'll let Bravos take Lorath, I might take out Novos. The problem is right now they have a lot of troops. 21,000. We just have to have a look at the levy in, in Novos. It's insane. They have a huge slave camp level there. So their possible levy is 35,000. That is simply insane. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I've also... Um, I've also been able to imprison a few of our subjects here, and I've actually, I've done that, because either they would have uh, rebelled, then I could have revoked their titles and put a Roynish uh, person in here, or what they did, they, they just accepted to be, to be in my prison and I ransomed them. So that was pretty good, we gained another, I think, 100 gold just from ransoms. I like it, I like it a lot, and we're making so much more money now, cool. So basically what I want to do from now on is I just want to save up cash and I want to have like thousand gold in the bank at any time because it's just it's kind of necessary that we have that uh, that money and what are you doing right now you are all right how about you just end your plot I don't want you plotting you steal my ear I'm not sure if that's really good um, but yeah it's fine uh, you did stop it that's perfect and our court physician has died well that sucks um, let's see, do we have someone to replace him or do we actually need to call for a court physician? We need to call for a court physician. Well, let's let's go ahead and do that. I haven't done that in a while. There we are. I've also imprisoned this person again, my rival. Um, if he has enough money, he can get out of prison. Otherwise, I will just keep him there uh, so he can't do anything against us. Perfect. All right. And okay, all kinds of people are dying. The Lord of the Neron Valley has died. Okay. And... Oh, he was murdered. Yeah, well, I was trying to fabricate a claim here for easier revoking. Because now this guy is in our prison. If we get claims on these provinces, we can just revoke it. No one's going to do anything about it. Um, but yeah, he got he got killed off. All right, so let's see. Um, who do we have? Bayan. Okay. The heir of the man who just died. I suppose he's uh, by far the best. So let's go ahead and give me give me a claim here. I would like to get these provinces. I've also decided that if I have to give out some lands, I will give up Kohor. It's just, you know, we're playing as the Roina. I should keep Kroyain and Nisar. I should really keep keep those. And in Nisar, we can still build up a lot, um, a lot more holdings. So I think uh, I will I will just spend my money on that. Because um, that was kind of the point of the series, right? Not making Kohor great, but making the Roina great. Alright, and you please end your plot thing. Actually, you know what? You... Ah, I could imprison you. Right, so this is what I've been doing. I had some, uh, yeah, I basically was able to imprison them. I did that, and either they would ac accept, like, this person, I would ransom them for 70 gold, or, well, I could, uh, I could revoke their title. Either way, I win. <laughs> awesome. Uh, your scouts inform you of a most skilled physician residing in a nearby village, even though he lacks any formal schooling and supposedly is a raging al alcoholic. The villagers swear that he has been able to cure any ailment aff afflicting them. This, si this Simon could easily be persuaded to come take up residence in your court. So he's a drunkard, he's very ambitious, 
but he is a kind-hearted man. He's very, you know, he has a lot of learning, that's for sure. And, um, well, we're a bit of a creamy paranoid. Hmm, well, I'm not too sure. But I think, uh, it's hard to tell, but I think we would still go. Are we willing? Well, it says willing to take the risk. That is something we are not. So, alright, if there was something else written here, I would have said, but no. Okay, this way. No, I can't do it. We're craving after all. Alright, um, not much luck. Yeah, it's fine. I will just keep spying on him at least uh, for as long as the war rages. We need a new spy master as well. What happened to all my people dying? Oh, oh, Bella, she became incapable. But that's just because she's sick. But I guess my nephew, you're gonna be... You actually want to be the marshal. Well, I'll put you on the council, and you're currently leading troops, which is fine. That's fine. Okay, so our troops are all getting together. This guy paid me 70 gold. Very, very nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Always appreciate it. And yeah, I should probably put that money in here to build up. But no, as I said, I want to save some money. I want to save some money. So yeah, I will give up Kohor if necessary. I will probably start with the Castle of the Gate Tower. Um, and... Oh... Someone's becoming a Roina. Well, that's good. Awesome. Um, but, yeah. And for as long as I can hold on to these titles, I will I will keep them. Okay, 3,000 men. I think you can already march on Lerulu. And you go there as well. And you go there as well. So, how many men do we have in total now? You have... Oh, wow. Where did he get 12? How did he... Okay, he... that's shit. Why... How can he hire 6,000 men when he's in debt? That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Like, what? Alright, whatever. My sister is now incapable. So, oh my god. How many more counselors do I need to appoint today? That's kind of annoying. Um, this guy is a very good spy master. I don't want him on my council then. I think I'll go with my daughter instead. Yes, make you master ships. It's more an honorary title anyways. So, yeah. We do not have a court physician. That could be a problem. Or Bella. Right, fine, she is incapable herself, but I, I suppose we can make her court physician. That works. That works for me. That works for me. Okay, so there's two. Ah, yeah, well, that's shit. Where is he getting these 12,000 men from? It doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't. It, this is stupid. This is stupid. So he's gonna. Uh, well, shit. Alright, we're gonna have to raise our own men. It's not like I don't have the men, it's just that I'm gonna lose some. That sucks. Okay. And people, can people please stop dying? I have a, I have a war to fight. Come on. How, how many people did I have to point to my council today? Ah, oh, it's getting annoying. Come on, let's, let's get our troops together. Yeah, we got obviously attacked. We are defending the river crossing. Not sure if I, if I had sent these men in, we may have, you know, may have won actually. Well, that was, that was my fault. Uh, anyway, now I have to spend money raising my own men. Uh, my armor stuff coin, he will get his reward. Yes, sure. Uh, yes, make something up. Whatever. Alright, so. Let's get you guys together. 17,000 men. Let's have a proper leadership. My half-brother. And I will have all our... Just my family is leading this. Look at this. I have my half-brother and two of my nephews leading 17,000 men against the Mirish. Great. Now, it's not like Mir has another war to fight that they could focus on, but no, they, they don't care. They don't care. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to win. They're actually coming at us, it, it seems like. Well, that's stupid. And we will let this guy rot, because I want him to either pay ransom or give me his control over his province. Okay, so we also took a river crossing, but it seems like we're winning this. Oh yeah, we have one flank that is incredibly powerful. Um, okay, but we're, we're crushing them. Alright, good. Perfect. So, we actually killed quite a few men, and we captured a dude. Nice. I like that money. Give me that money. Alright, 12% war score. That's okay. Let's see if we can combine you and just siege it down. It should give us quite a lot of war score. And I think we'll afterwards siege the, uh, siege their capital in Mir. That's probably the best idea, because that's going to give a lot of war score. We saw that with Cold War, that gave the most war score. Awesome. I'm not sure where they're going. I don't really care. 
These 2,500 men you're taking, you're making me take attrition. Don't like it. But we have to stay close, otherwise we will lose our army. That would be terrible too. Okay, we're not losing that much money, but of course I would have... I wanted to avoid raising my own men, but of, of course that is not possible. Alright, let's see if we can crush these guys. You're going to arrive on the 20, 23rd of August. Oh, damn it. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and unseach this. We're going to take a lot of attrition walking around. Where is he getting these men from? Why is everyone... Why does everyone keep dying? Okay, so my sister has finally died. So now we have Nemor, another Nemor, as Lord of Dagger Lake. That's good for him. Good for him. Oh, God. We truly need organizers. Ugh, fighting without organizers is not fun. Right, so we should at least catch this army. But this is not even the Mirish guy. I don't know who he is. He's gonna cause problems. Alright, well, well, we'll destroy him. Uh, whatever. I'll just destroy him. Okay, he's unseaging that. That was to be expected. He's gonna try and catch this army. Okay, there is the... There are the Bravosi. Okay, we'll just stay here and siege this now. Come on. Ugh. Ricasso Jordan died. Uh, that's fine. The Rulu... Yeah, has been retaken. That's fine. That's to be expected. We're fighting a battle here. We're actually winning. No, we're losing that. Well, of course we are. We are, of course, losing that battle. Yes, yes, yes. So our people are slowly getting pissed off. This guy is unsieging all kinds of things. Still, I'm, I don't understand how he managed to raise that many men. It, it, like, how does he hire 4,000? He doesn't have any money. He does not have any money. That's the uh, that's the Bravosi. That's Lorath. That's Tyrosh. That's Montaris. This is someone else. Yeah, he doesn't have them. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense where he's getting these troops from. Anyway, we'll gather our men, and I think eighteen thousand might be enough to storm the storm the castles. We would take a ton of attrition. Or a ton of ton of casualties, I should say. I don't really want to do that. You know what? Maybe the Bravosi can fight these guys. How about that? Huh? How about that? That'd be that'd be cool. That'd be actually quite nice. And once we take Mir, that would actually give us quite a lot of war score. I would uh, I would approve. Alright, so yeah, they are doing it. They're destroying this army. Nice. So all we have to do is then siege this. And that's that's gonna be good. Perfect. Oh god. <laughs> that auto save. Um, we can ransom all prisoners. I don't think they have enough money yet. Yeah, they don't. Actually, one of the ladies um, broke out of prison. This this woman was released. Um, and I hate that you don't have a cause. Like, she was in my prison for a reason. She broke out. She managed to get out. Why can I not imprison her again? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I should be able to do that. Um, but yeah, whatever. It's it's fine. We now have a new heir. Oh, my half brother. He died. He died of poor health. All right. So we now need to make sure. We now need to think about who we appoint as our successor. Well, I think I will go with Tristane because he's a really good commander, and that is useful. Damien would be useful too. He's 24, but he's already depressed. This guy's a sloth. He's. A bit better in intrigue. Um, I think I'll go with Tristane. And I guess for Kohor, I'll go with Tristane too. And that should be fine. Alright, so he's our new heir. Perfect. Um, we need to appoint a new advisor. I'll go with my sister's son, Nimor. Yes, my nephew. And we still do not have a court physician. I don't think I can call for one. Alright, yeah, too bad. I just wish that my people could stop dying for a second. That would be nice. A uh, new commander would be great too. I'll pick my nephew. I have so many nephews and nieces. It's insane. It truly is insane. Also, oh, you know what? Speaking of members of family, uh, Sir Knight Ravenshield, favored by Relore. She's now incapable and very old. And we have Belicho, who's heir to the city of the Castle Guard. So there's eight living members of... 
How's Raven Shield? But they're not married. Uh, why? So many people not married. You should marry. I wonder if I can arrange a marriage for you. I have only old people. Ah, uh, that sucks. Well, I'm not really sure I can do much there. And how's it looking for House Sphinx? You... Ooh, you have a son. He doesn't inherit. Ooh, I see. Well. Hmm. Well, that's not good. That certainly is not good. We'll have to see what we can do about this, but... Them losing their castles? Well... Don't know what I can do about that. Cannot... I hope we can get the Sphinxes to us. What's this? I'm a bit concerned about this war you currently struggle with, and therefore decided I would send you a small gift. Well, thank you, my nephew. I just made you my, my heir, so I suppose you kind of want me to succeed. And you have a slow son. Huh. Well. That's too bad. My niece and my nephew. Um... Well, whatever. We sieged Mir, and I guess we should now go to Lorulu and maybe smash this 4,000 army. That'd be cool. And could we have... Mm, resign Allah. Resign everyone. And... Where is this big... Would like to have you in the center. Everyone else go to the sides. that it matters much. Alright. I guess that's... that's good. Is that good enough? It doesn't have to be perfectly balanced. I guess these two could be brought over. Oh, come on. Ah, that's, that's good enough, I guess. So now, let's appoint Alar. He, is, he seems to be a best commander then we'll have Damien here and yeah I want I want my nephews to do this yeah you will lead our men perfect let's go there and 17,000 men will be able to siege Lorulu will smash this army hopefully and that should give us enough war score to finally end this war yes um the two battles are actually well seven percent it's not that much and we have a dangerous faction Lady Targanaria for Kohor. Ah, this man, my Seneschal. Why is he leading factions? How is that possible? He's on my council. I thought he was not able to lead factions then. He can't do that. Hmm. Not entirely sure how he does it. And Master Manfrey, I could imprison. Now, he already hates me, so I think I might as well, because he has a lot of money, and we could take that. 25 gold would be very nice, because uh, it's going to help out our war effort. So let's go ahead and ransom him immediately, just because. Perfect. All right, so this war is going well. I'm pretty sure we're going to win. It's just, uh, yeah, it's too bad that he somehow was able to raise 4,000 men. Hire 4,000 men out of his ass. Um, but yeah, that's fine. We'll still be able to deal with it. And I think... He's still at war with uh, Bravos as well. So that's good at least. Anyways, that was it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.